Welcome to the next instalment of our Own the Challenge, Be the Change series, where we are giving Scottish SMEs who we have worked with through the Scout ERDF programme the opportunity to share some of the work that they've been doing towards creating a more sustainable future for everyone. So we're delighted today to be joined by representatives from Thermochem, Salasta Bio, Neetec, Crover and Intelligigest. And today we're going to focus on Intelligigest. So Effie, can you please share with us what Intelligigest have been working on and how it's going to help deliver sustainable impacts for the future? Well, thank you so much, Gerham, for inviting me to this conversation. Um, it, I'm sure that we may have heard somehow that one thought of good food growth for human consumption is wasted. And then, you know, we also understand that 30% of greenhouse gas emissions is, is attributed to agri-food production. But what we may not know is that one in five deaths is actually um, linked to malnutrition and over 900 million people are currently hungry in the world. What that simply means there's a gap in the food system because we can't just be wasting so much and a lot of people are hungry. And also over 1.9 billion people are currently overweight. These are huge statistics, staggering numbers that really reflect that our food system is broken. It's completely fractured. We just want to mend it and make it work for us. And this is what IntelliDigest, our mission is to empower global food sustainability. What that simply means is that we're helping stakeholders in the food system to think of the next step to what they can do to make the food system sustainable. So if you're a food manufacturer, if you're a food processor, if you're a farmer listening to us today, please get in touch. We really, really want to help you. So what do we do? We develop technologies. We help to educate people. So our technologies help to recover bionutrients, biochemicals from food waste at the earliest possible time so that we can grow more food locally. Now think of the vertical farms springing up everywhere. Think about the insect farms, think about the cellular protein. So if we have to grow meat in the lab, how do we supply nutrients to be able to do all this while also growing food in the soil? This is our mission at Italy Digest to help these sectors as they grow to grow in a sustainable way so we can recover bionutrients from food waste and then help to be put, put that back into the food system. And what that simply means that we can have more local food production. And what that means that you as a local consumer listening to me today could actually source food locally in the most efficient way. So we can all work together to address this global challenge. We're super excited because we recently launched the Plant to Save campaign. Please head to our website, IntelliDigest, and check out the Plant to Save campaign. This is an opportunity as for everyone and individuals to be part of this change. You can plan your meals, you can plan the food you, you buy, and by doing that planning alone, you can help local farmers know what they need to grow and how they can grow it more sustainably. So this is a call to action for everyone to be part of this change, to support, to make the food system sustainable. Think about the empty shelves that you've witnessed during the pandemic. We don't want to see that happening in future issues and if, if future um, challenges that we have. We want to help, us, help ourselves to make sure that our supply chain becomes robust, especially within the food system. We want it to help the farmers. We want you to help, want, want every one of us to help ourselves to evolve a more sustainable food system. And you know, what we're doing has a lot of technology innovation built into it. We use photonic sensors, we use artificial intelligence, machine learning, we use enzymatic biocatalysis in our process, and ultimately we've got this software platform that actually engineers and helps to get everyone together. So there's a lot going on in terms of what we're doing. So if you're also a researcher interested in what we're doing, we're happy to have a chat with you. So, and we're so um, grateful to the Scout team for the support. They have you know, been able to provide for us and the ongoing support we'll continue to receive through the wider networks we work with. Um, Ready from Real Academy of Engineering, Red Set of Edinburgh, you know, Scottish Enterprise, everyone who has been part of our journey, we remain very grateful to you um, for all the support. And we're looking forward to what we can deliver in the future to help feed everyone on earth, to help provide food in the most sustainable way to everyone. And thank you very much for having me in the discussion today. Thank you, Effie. Strong message and really fascinating technologies. And clearly your company has sustainability at its heart. Yeah. Um, so I just want to open up to the floor. Does anyone else have any thoughts or perhaps questions for Effie? I guess the technology that can be implemented are many steps along the food chain, right? So you can have 
big impacts at different points. Uh, but what is right now your main focus? Consumer sites, retail, producer, or it's just like a whole chain approach? Amazing. Thank you very much, Santo, for raising that question. Uh, for us, there's been a lot of opportunities um, that's you know come up as we um, evolve the technology. So we're currently working with um, global food manufacturers, looking at their waste streams and how we can recover value from that. We also have um, worked with you know hotels like Marriott Hotel and also Radisson Hotel to look at their waste stream and how we can help them to recover value from the waste stream. And we're currently also speaking to Edinburgh Council and also um, London City Council to look at how this can be, help households um, to um, look into improving the value we can recover from household food waste. So this is a solution that can actually come into your household in the future. Think about the washing machine, um, you know, the dishwashers and, 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 your, and, your, and the washing machine that wash your clothes. These are technologies that came into households as why it goes over time. And, and this is where we are seeing this technology heading into in the sense that everyone should be able to um, help to provide this nutrient from their food waste to help to boost uh, the bioeconomy and, and also you know food sustainability so there's a lot of scope and a lot of potential and um you know we're quite pleased to be engaging with international organizations such as united nations environmental program and uh, we recently had a meeting with a world food program last week and also um have um you know, contacts with the UNFA or to look at how this can also have a global impact. And I think this brings me to the Global Food Loss and Waste Tracker platform. Um, the map showing, you know, engagement on a global scale is actually available um, on, a, on, on, on the platform. So you can actually view how different regions of the world are actively engaging with this issue of, um, you know, food waste and food loss and on the overall food sustainability. The fact that, you know, we launched this on June 8th thing and then we've seen a global adoption for it simply speaks volume about the challenge and the demand for it so for us what we've done and what we're doing is to continuously engage with different stakeholders for us it's we're brokering different collaborations with different um, uh, partners to make sure that we can get this quickly as possible to different stakeholders in the market. So we wouldn't say because, um, you know, or, or what happened initially is that we focus on the hospitality sector. But during the lockdown, um, what we've um, come to identify is that there's a lot of interest and we're kind of opening up a lot more and engaging with um, relevant partners to make sure that we can quickly um, get this across um, to different stakeholders to, to be able to create value and, and really help the food system and boost um, uh, bioeconomy and, and food sustainability. Thank you. Thank you so much, Effie. The technology that you've discussed, the potential for that to go into not only everybody's home, but into retail and things like that, it's, it's quite amazing to see the kind of difference that you could make for food waste and food hunger across the world. Um, so thank you so much for discussing that today. I just want to wrap up this series episode with them um, by saying thank you to all of our SMEs here for giving your time to discuss these important issues. Um, and just to say that the Scout Project is here to support Scottish SMEs and their innovative journeys, including um, your sustainable technologies. So please don't hesitate to contact a member of the Scout team to discuss this further.